Here's uh, another video from Meaning Transmissions. Two locations, one in Willow Grove and one in Lansdale. To serve you, we can be reached online at meaningtransmissions.com. Transmission we're talking about today, uh, this particular one is a 6T70. This is out of a uh, General Motors application. Actually, it's a, a Saturn uh, with a V6. Um, but we also have another one over on this bench here. That is going back together. This is a, uh, a 6T45, which is the smaller of the two 6P front wheel drive transaxles. Uh, these two transmissions share the same power flow in terms of the architecture of transmission, the way the power gets transferred through the transmission, gear train configuration, except this one is a smaller capacity uh, than the 6T70. Uh, both of them are used in both a GM and a Ford application. Uh, the Ford application is, a, uh, is actually listed here. Uh, it is a 6F50, 6F55. Uh, so anyway, uh, <clears throat> to go over, the failures, even though the two transmissions are, uh, are different, uh, the failure that took place is a, a problematic area in both transmissions. If we look here, uh, we can see the input shaft uh, from the, this is the 6070, this is the 6045. You got a definite, definitive difference in the dimensions of that input shaft. Uh, however, you know, the failure that took place on this is, uh, is definitely uh, the same. You can see that the drum uh, where the 3.5 reverse clutches ride on both of them is damaged. The reason it's damaged is we have a wave plate. This wave plate fails, and uh, when the wave plate fails, it basically machines this drum, and there's also a variety of collateral damage that can take place. This, uh, this one here is from the 4T45. That's out of a, a GMC uh, Acadia. This one here is out of the Saturn. This is the bigger engine, bigger transmission, and you can see that it's uh, chewed up as well. But it damaged the end cover. When that wave plate came apart, you can see that this end cover uh, was also chewed up. So we're going to see if that piece is available uh, separately. You can see these other, these other clutches themselves are actually... They got so hot, this uh, vehicle was experiencing a bind-up condition. So uh, GM uh, you know, released these transmissions to uh, improve the fuel mileage over what we have here. This is a, uh, a 4T65, uh, but you know, they needed to have additional gear ratios, try to you know, maximize the, the operating time where the engine is uh, in its, you know, the most efficiency uh, or the most efficient window of RPM uh, in its volumetric efficiency. That's why, you know, many of these uh, manufacturers will be going with uh, six, seven, eight, nine speed automatics to try to meet the fuel mileage numbers that are being set forth by the federal government. But as these uh, number of ratios and gears increases, you're also going to have an increase in the amount of parts and you're also going to have the potential for, you know, design flaws uh, that are so uh, problematic, you know, when a, when a new design comes out, and this is a great example. So both these transmissions are able to fix and, uh, you know, save money uh, compared to what a remanufactured transmission would cost. Uh, also, there are some revisions in terms of the parts design that hopefully will prevent this failure from occurring again.